Hey guys, RC here, back with Climbing the Ladder, our FM20 journey. And we are with our fifth club. This is episode 25. We've reached the quarter century mark. There was no job interest in me this uh, off season. I am wondering, and if you know the answer to this, let me know. Uh, but if we take a look at my profile, we haven't gained anything. Now, I'm 73 years old in the game. Does age in the game get discriminated against? Or, or can you know, does that, is that just a, I don't know, splash of color number? I don't know the word I'm looking for, but does it mean anything? Does it not mean anything? Can you, can I coach in here until I'm 150? Uh, or does at some point it rules you out? So we're not getting much in the way of interest. I mean, literally, we have gotten no job interviews, no job requests, nothing, nothing at all. And, I, you know, we, ha we have won some silverware, but even winning silverware, we have not seen this go up. Or maybe the game is just biased towards us Americans. I don't know. And if that's the case, I'm going to start calling it soccer on my videos, damn it. I make a concerted effort to call it football. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but anyway, I, I have no idea. Uh, reputation's not going up. I think we've done a bang-up job here at Carl Scrona. Back-to-back promotions. Even though we didn't, even though we finished near the bottom, staying up in our first year, I think, would do good for our reputation to keep a team up. I think that shows a lot, but I have no idea. Anyway, let's take a look. Here is the transfer window roundup. Uh, Hammerby had uh, two deals worth $11 million. They spent a total of $16.75 million on players. We were the most active club, uh, and I knew I would be. I usually am. Uh, 14 players coming in, and so we'll look at that. Let's take a quick look at finances. Uh, we started with a transfer budget of $1.4 million, so we actually spent money this year. And yes, that was our transfer budget, $1.4. Uh, the payroll was at 2.68 was our payroll budget. It was actually 2.4 but I moved some of the transfer budget. So we didn't spend 400,000. We moved some of that over to cover because I went up to two and a half million dollars. I'd like to be less, but I don't know that I'm gonna be able to do less. So let's, t uh, before we look at our transfers, season preview, we are picked to finish 13th. In a group of four at a thousand to one, Brahma Pajama, Orebo, and Sunsball. I believe those are two clubs that got promoted. Uh, oh, and and uh, Scoved. I have no idea. Uh, they're actually picked to finish tenth. So they they must be a team that just went down recently. And if we click on that, yeah. So. They went down, right back up, down, right back up. So they're they're yo-yoing in and out. That's fine. All right, where were we at? Let's look at our transfers. And let's look at our outs. Uh, first off, let's look at our released players. Uh, free transfers. Tony Lance, Sebastian Anders, Anderson. Uh, some young players you probably don't even know. I don't even know. Magnus Eriksson, we did let him go. He has moved on to Grata. So I'm glad he has gotten a gig. Uh, but yeah, he uh, he has moved on, our, our winger. Just uh, doesn't cut the mustard at this level anymore. Released players. Felix Johansson, Morton Falk, we let go on a free. Uh, his contract was up. Silvano Thoney, uh, and he is still available. But uh, you remember him? He was one of our key players uh, moving up out of Division One into the Super Rattan, and then just didn't, you know, couldn't couldn't hold his starting position there. But he has moved on. Arturo Alonso left us. Philip Bowman has left us, Jonas Svensson, Michael Nyberg, Tim Pedersen, we finally got rid of him, and Johan Stegarn. Uh, and Pedersen is actually still available on a free. So that's interesting. None of those guys got, got brought in. 
uh, anybody else? The big guys. Uh, Cavilli, we finally sold him. Being that we're up a second year, the board allowed us to move him. So we got $2,300 for him. Steve Matthews, I just wasn't happy with him last year. Uh, we brought him in, thought he was going to be a solid right back for us. Uh, he started 12 league matches, but only played a 6-4-9. And so we've sold him on for uh, 5500 uh, after picking him up on a free. So a little bit of profit on him. Uh, and then uh, Gethin Davies, 6500 uh, Central mid. Again, we signed a couple of players. We signed uh, the English guy Evans last season. Kind of took Davies' place. I was trying to make sure I had a way to get... Uh, oh, I'm, draw I'm drawing a blank. Why am I drawing a blank? Badge. Wanted to make sure I could get Badge in. Uh, so Davies, he whinged a little bit about, I'm not getting enough playing time, so we just moved him. Uh, same thing with Michael brought Bruins. Um, that was the guy we had all those injuries at the right wing, so we brought him in, then he got hurt. We moved him on for 4000 And Daniel Nilsson, he is a young 18-year-old prospect. He looks pretty good, but... Until we are firmly entrenched and we can start spending money anywhere close to the level that a Hammerby does, we can't hang on to players and pay, you know, twenty thousand dollars, you know, a month or or even a year. So we moved him on. Uh, he was valued at, I don't know, like four thousand dollars and and they offered we're gonna make seventeen thousand seven fifty we've got a forty percent sell on clause for him so he goes to Elfsburg uh so that was a good move so we made thirty one thousand in sales we did spend three hundred and twenty five thousand dollars so the first guy that we went after was Angle Holmes remember they're one of the top two or three clubs in the league they're one of the top two or three clubs in the league. And we signed Panagatwa, I don't even know, Panagatis Kokolias. That's good. I don't know. what We're going to have to call him something, just Coco or something. I think that's what we're going to have to do. Coco, because I'm not going to be able to do that. Forty-four and a half thousand. He is a left winger, left-footed. Look at the pace, the physicals on this guy. Three and a half star current, four and a half star potential, determination, flair, vision. First touch is solid. Dribbling, crossing is stellar. Passing is solid. Technique is there. Uh, he has started four cup matches, played a seven oh three. Nine friendlies playing a 7.4, and he has four goals in those matches. So looking good so far. So he's a big signing for us. Then we signed um, Michael DuPont from AC Ballone Billancourt for $3,900. Uh, right back, and very again, very good physicals, three-star current ability, leadership, concentration, decisions, bravery, um crossing's not really there but he's got he's got reasonable defensive skills he can pass the ball so you know and we needed we needed some depth back there so two cup matches five starts five reserve appearances in the friendlies we'll see where he slots in nikola jordevich from Skovo, skoved uh they're the new team that just came up we got him for four thousand three hundred dollars he is a center back which i went out and tried to solidify our center back position this year uh, to the point we could probably play three center backs if we wanted to uh, but very good physicals pace acceleration uh, he's six foot two great jumping reach heading is 11 marking is nine tackling is 10 He's not playing horrible. He's not playing great, but I mean, he's better than what we had. So we'll see what he does. I'm still feeling a lot of these guys out. Uh, Robbie Bailey, 25,000 from Kidderminster. 
Uh, he is a 26-year-old Englishman, 5'11", a little on the slow side, 9-9, nine and nine, but, you know, solid. 10 heading, 14 marking, 14 tackling. Worst case, he moves out to the left side and is a good defender out there, but I think he's going to be a pretty decent center back. Three cup matches playing uh, one assist, one player of the match, 707 rating here in the early going. I think he's going to slot in as a starter. And again, we've seen Swedish players cannot head the ball, so we had to go outside, and we're going to have to use some of our non-homegrown in that spot. Uh, from Ellsberg, we signed Ali Akbar Latifi, $1,100. He can play left back, left wing, and uh, between those two, he could probably play a wing back in our 3-5-2. Solid all-around physicals. He's only two-star current, five-star potential. Really good crosser of the ball. He's got some finishing ability. First touch is really good. Passing is solid. Technique. He's got a great work rate. I like this kid. Five starts, one reserve in the in the friendlies, playing a 7-3-2. And he is Swedish. So he actually counts as a homegrown player. Uh, another big one that we signed, $14,750. I did not change his name. His name is Victor. Three and a half star current ability. He is a Spaniard. Uh, no caps, but he's making $140,000 a year. One, I think he's our highest paid player. Solid physicals, starting right back. Uh, I hope he's our starting right back for $140,000. Uh, he can actually move into center back. He's got good jumping, nine heading, marking is eight, tackling is 12. So he could play center back if need be. His mentals are really good. Decision-making, uh, not a good passer of the ball, but he can cross. So as an attacking wing back, uh, if he moves up or plays on that right, we're going to be okay, I think. Uh, he is 26. We've got him out for language courses. I did hear somebody say in a video the other day that they have noticed that players get better. They take a jump when they finished their language course. You know, if they can't speak the language, then, you know, then it's kind of an issue. But uh, once they get the language course, uh, here is a huge signing. 185000 from Norcoping. Albin Gunners. He is a. Uh, I was originally looking at playing a 4411, possibly with a number 10, and I needed one. Um, Badge can play there, but this guy was more solid. But he can also play right wing, center. He could even move up to striker. He's got an eight finishing. He wouldn't be out of place. He is Swedish, four star current, excellent physicals. Excellent mentals. Excellent everything. This this kid looks really good. Uh, is a star player making 99000 a year. So he is going to play a lot. And he play, has been playing well. So we dropped a bucket load on him. And then again, we went back to England for another player. 45500 Harry Roche. Uh, left back. Good pace. Solid physicals. Crossing's not there, but he can dribble, first touch, marking, passing, tackling, solid defensive player. I kind of was looking at him for a wing back in that 3-5-2, but uh, he can play here. We gave him a couple of starts in the we gave him a start in the cup. He was not good. Uh, seven matches playing a 666. Uh, so again, just needs and he's Welsh. Uh, it's close to England. But, you know, so we went up to the U.K. area. That's what I meant. So, anyway, that is our transfer moves. We did bring on a bunch of guys on freeze. A lot of these guys have been loaned out. Um, any of them that I recognize? This guy is probably going to start some matches. Eight An 804 and five friendlies. Uh, we got him on a free. Leonard Thompson. Uh, he was with Skavd, and they let him go. Uh, so he's he's been a player. I mean, he played 28 in uh, in the league down last season with a 6.84, 17 assists, 
and uh, he's got an 11 passing. So I think he's going to slot into our starting 11. Uh, he's making 153 a year. So we've got a couple of guys on some high, high salaries. Uh, in fact, if we look here, we've got Coco at 252, Palliston at 172, 153, 140. So we're up to seven players over 100,000. Uh, Bethke, I am trying to sell uh, just because he is, um, his value has dropped a little bit. Six, seven, five. So I'm going to drop that to four. Yeah, if these guys aren't going to start for us, then, you know, I need to move them on. Hemingway, I th think I've offered him out at zero. Tarpe is suspended. So, Ramage, I think I'm trying, I'm trying, uh, he's leaving uh, in July. July 1st. So he is leaving. But anyway, let's get to today's match. All right. We're expected to finish in the relegation playoff. That was our starting transfer budget and payroll budget. Uh, we've already kind of gone over the budget. Lindbaum is back. Uh, he is not going to be our starting striker this year. And we are on the road... And this is the tactic we're going with this year. Um, I have put in three new tactics. This is the 3-5-2. Uh, if we want to go a little more defensive, I think. Uh, that is just another tactic that I've put in. That'll be our third choice. But this is going to be our go-to tactic this year. And I want to check... Gustafson appeared in seven matches. He allowed three with four clean sheets. He appeared in eight matches, allowed 11, but seven shutouts. That doesn't seem right, but let's take a quick look on the comparison. Yeah, I think Richardson's going to get the job. We're going to give him the start. I just, uh, I couldn't get rid of him. I did try to, I did try to sell him. He's in the last year. I will not be renewing his contract. Uh, but anyway, so we're going to be going with Richardson up top. Uh, Dietert is back from his injury late last season. He'll be in the center. Pallison is a new center back, a Dane. Uh, so there's his ratings. All right, so we're going to be going with uh, Richardson in goal. Gustafson, I'm still going to play them against each other. Uh, Dietert, back from his injury, will be back in uh, the center back. Pallison, one of our new players, he's a 25-year-old Dane. He's one of the guys making 172000 a year. So... Uh, Hopefully we see an improvement on defense. Victor, the Spanish player on the right. Roche on the left. Uh, Jordovic in the middle. He's a 25-year-old Swede. Uh, where did he play last year? All right, he's, uh, he's a guy that we just bought from Skavd, and they lost money on him. That was nice. Appreciate that, guys. Uh, Evans, he came over uh, late last year at the transfer deadline. Uh, Thompson, that was uh, one of our big signings, so he's going to be a new star player. Gunners, another star, uh, another one of our new signings on, on the right wing. Coco on the left, and boy, Coco rolls off the tongue so much easier. He's going to be our left winger. And Selenius, now he, remember, came to us on a free last year, scored 12 in 28 matches. I have not played a one-up top very often in FM 20. So I'm nervous about that. We're going to give it a little bit of a run, but if we struggle, I'm playing this because it's a little more defensive with the defensive mid. We've got guys on support. I do have some things that I can tweak, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a little nervous about this. Uh, let's see. We're going to, we have Paulson, uh, Lindbaum. I really don't need two strikers up top. 
Yeah, and I think I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be Pison. So Lindbaum, we're gonna bump out of here. Unless I need the homegrown. I don't think I'm it, it doesn't look like I need that, right? Uh, Minari's injured, Tarpe is suspended. So we do have a few guys. We've got Bailey left and center. And I want him at center back. Larson is mid right. We'll move him here. Defensive right and center in DuPont. So he's more the right back guy. Uh, mid center and defensive mid. And I would like, it's got to be Badge, doesn't it? I mean, I signed him to a new contract. It's got to be him. I got to go with him if it'll let me. And it does. Yay. I saw, so a lot of these new players are Swedish. And I'm sorry for the extended first part of the video before we even get to the match. But, you know, you guys watch FM videos. You should be, uh, you know, you're used to that, right? The transfer specials are, you know, a lot of transfer news. Especially when you're very active. <laughs> like I have been. All right, boys. All right, we get the first shot. And by God, it's on target. All right, they've come back with a couple. Let's get creative. They're inspired. All right, Gunners picks up the first of many yellow cards this year. Oh, here's Gunners. First highlight. Evans. Oh, right into the bread basket of the keeper. Oh. Evans with a nice run onto the ball. Caught it on a volley. Very nice. All right. They they didn't like the passion. All right. We controlled the first half. I'm pretty happy with that. I do appreciate the efforts. We end up with three yellow cards. So that's going to be... Uh, we did set a league record last year with most uh, yellow cards. Uh, Alvin Gunners, a bruised shin. All right, there's Victor. Oh, he turns the corner. And another injury. There it is! Selenius! Does it count? It does? All right, let's make a sub here. All right, let's put Pison on. And let's go ahead and pull Gunners off for Christian Larson. Larson was our starter last year. So let's get both of our injured players off. But I think uh, they uh, they teamed up Gunners to Selenius for the goal. That was very nice. All right, Thompson plays it up short. Victor taps it in. Near post on the outside of the woodwork. Blasted off of there. All right, Richardson plays it short. Pallison up to Thompson. All right, some good ball movement up into the middle. A lot of space for Evans. He plays it over the top. There's Larson on the run. He lays it back. Thompson. Two touches, Carl Evans, first goal of the season. Leonard Thompson puts the assist, and we are up 2-0, boys. Oh, very exciting. So if you did not see the end of last season, it came down to the last match of the season. So go check out last episode uh, if you haven't seen it. Uh, it, I mean, it literally came down to the last match on whether we stayed up or were going down. Oh, my God, a defensive header that we won. He's offsides. Offsides. Don't even go there. I don't need to see a replay either because he was definitely offsides. Uh, let's see. One away fan. Very nice of that person to travel. Much appreciated. All right, let's see here. Victor Pallison. How about Dieterts? Dieterts on a yellow. Let's bring on Robbie Bailey for a debut. Now, he's a center back, but he can also play on that left, so that, that's good. 
and let's tell them to tighten up here down the down the stretch Richardson doing something he did not do at all last year and that's recording a clean sheet 15 to 7 on shots 10 to 2 on target and we controlled possession five chances to one if we can do that this year we might do very well so we're going to say passionately uh Yep, nobody gave us a chance, and you played very, very well. Uh, is your gardens, where are they picked to finish up? Mid-table. If we can handle mid-table teams, that would be a step up this year, because last year we couldn't handle mid-table teams, let alone top of the table, although we did beat the mid-table team to end the season to stay up. Uh, so, yeah, if we can do that, I think we've really solidified our squad. And if you take a look, all the new guys, well, Carl Evans came in last year. He was our best player at the end of the season. So he's still up there, but Gunners is new, Pallison's new, Thompson's new, Roche's new, Coco's new, Victor's new. Larson's a returner. That was somebody we got late last year. I'm looking for Minari. Minari was a good player. He's a three-star now. Baj is a two-and-a-half star. He was one of our star players. And Lindbaum was one of our four four-plus star players. He's only two-and-a-half now with three-star potential. So that shows the improvement overall of the team, I think. So let's see, we're in our fourth year, very good. Two to three days, one to two days, good. Nothing major, they will be back for the next match. Evans uh, was good up top. I'd like to come back pretty quick. Let's, let's come back into the month. Let's play Kalmar and Hacken. And that'll give us, you know, it'll give us a few matches off camera. Two matches in the first month, so we can kind of start getting to know the new players, see them in action, and then we'll we'll kind of hit our stride. Guys, please hit that like button for me. That's the only way I ask you guys to support my channel. Uh, there is no Patreon or anything else. Uh, subscribing and hitting the like. Like buttons just puts more eyes or more potential eyes onto the videos. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. If you're new, welcome. By the way, I did get one new guy. I want to make sure I give a shout out. I always try to do that. Gordon Bell, a couple of days ago. So forgot to record that in uh, yesterday's episode. But uh, Gordon Bell, welcome to the channel. And guys, have a good one. Take care. Bye.